Tuesday here. I'm here today to do a top 10 Tuesday. Um, and this week's theme was kind of vague because it's the Tuesday's Halloween. So they said just kind of go crazy with Halloween. Pick your own topic basically. It's like a freebie. So I decided to choose the top 10 creepy or scary books that I want to read that I have not read yet. Okay, I will tell you a little about it and give you guys a brief summary of, of each of the books. And I will see, hopefully I get to read these this fall. And let me know in the comments which ones I should read first. So the first book I'm going to talk about, I'm actually borrowing from my friend Sarah. And it's The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. The book is about these two characters named Hazel and Ben. Um, and the society they live where is where fairies and humans kind of live side by side. Um, when Hazel and Ben are younger, they craft these stories about this prince this horned prince that lives in a that is asleep in a coffin and they have all these wild adventures and they pretend to be knights and they pretend to be like basically adventurers um and as they grow up hazel puts this fantasy behind her but when all of a sudden this character this fairy winds up waking up it kind of turns their world on its head um and it said that um holly black returns to fairies um and the back sounds really interesting and I know she just wrote I will talk about this one now um it is also she this book comes out in um January and it's Cruel Prince by Holly Black um but I definitely have to read this book first I don't know if they're set in the same world I cannot get a clarified answer on that but the next book I want to read definitely is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black it's about a character named Drew Jude and when he and his sisters, um, their parents are brutal, are brutally murdered. They are forced to return and live in the high court of the fairy. Ten years later, um, Jude wants nothing more than to belong there despite her mortality, but many of the fae despise humans, especially Prince Karen, the youngest and wickedest son of the High King. To win a place of course, she must defy him or face the consequences. In doing so, she becomes embroiled in palace intrigue and deceptions, discovering her own capacity for bloodshed. But as civil war threatens to drown the courts of fairy and violence, Jude will need to risk her life in a dangerous alliance to save her sisters and the fairy herself. Again, it sounds so, so good. I really, really want to read it. Most likely, I will read this book first, and then I will read this. Just so if they are connected and are in the same world, I can, like, have an understanding of that. Um, the next book I'm going to chat about is um, March Hares and Mad Hatters and March Hares. Edited by Alan Delob, and this is a this comes out in December, twenty seventeen, and it is an in an, an anthology um, of all new weird tales inspired by the strangeness of Alice Lewis Carroll's Alice Adventures in Wonderland. Um, and there's a bunch of stories and poems from a bunch of different authors, no, um, none that I am very familiar with, but it sounds really interesting, and there is like. Um, I think there's like 16 stories. Um, there's like Introduction, Gentle Alice, My Own Invention, Lily White, Conjoin, Mercury, Some Kind of Wonderland, Alice, All the King's Men, Run Rabbit, In Memory of a Summer Day, Sentence Like Summer, Worry Worry, Eating Alice's Cake, The Queen of Hats, Comfort One Way, Flim After the Candle, Moon, Memory, and Muchness, and Run Rabbit Run. So that sounds really interesting. I did got this at New York City Comic Con, and I would love to read it and give you guys my thoughts. Um... The next book I'm going to chat about is a book that I got last year from New York City Comic Con, and it's The Dybalic Miss Hyde by Violet Carr. Um, and this is magic, mysteries, and romance in the edgy retelling of the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mrs. Hyde, in which Dr. Elizabeth Jekyll is the daughter of the infamous Henry. So this book follows the daughter of Miss, uh, the daughter of Hyde, and I think she's both like, um, to the dark secret. You know, sh and there's a killer on the loose. It sounds really, really good. I know this is the first book, and there's a couple of more books in the series. But again, it sounds so interesting, and hopefully I'll get to read it soon. Um, and this book is a book that I got from the library, and it's A Dangerous Magic by Donald Ho Hodeman. I got this character named Frank, um, Frank Sampson, who is a forensic... Um, a happy to be a very friend, gifted forensic sorcerer, but when the Bishop of Oxford is beheaded, Frank is called in to investigate the crime. Um, but when he learns that the head that he found is not the head that goes with the body, some complicated things arise, and he has to deal with that. And then the Catholic Church is breathing down his neck. 
Um, and he is determined to close the case, but when he has to deal with Dart's magic, it gets even more complicated. So it sounds really good. I picked this up because I saw it on a YouTube channel and I really wanted to read it. And I saw it at my library and grabbed it. So hopefully I'll get to read this soon as well. Um, the next book I hope to read is The Unburied Carol by Josh Mellerman. And this does not come out until March. Or no, April, I think. I'm sorry. Yes, Carol Evers is a woman with a dark secret. She has died many times, but her... Many deaths are not final. They are comas, awakening slumber, and distinguishing from her death each lasting days. Only two people know of Carol's eerie conviction. Her husband, um, her, one, one of her husband died who married Carol for her fortune, and when she lapses into another coma, plots to seize it by proclaiming her dead and quickly burying her. And the other is her lost, her lost love, the infamous outlaw James Moxie. The word word of Carol's dreadful fate reaches him. Moxie rides the trail again to save her beloved from an early untimely grave. And all the while unaware, Carol fights to free herself from the creeping darkness that binds her, summoning her own fierce will to survive. As the players in this drama of life and death try to fight, to fight to decide her fate, Carol must in the end battle to save herself. The haunting story of a woman literally bringing herself back from the sleep, Unbury Carol is a twisted take on the sleeping beauty, myth that will stay with you long after you turn the final page. That just sounds really, really creepy. So hopefully I'll get to read it soon. Oh my god, I'm so intrigued by that. I don't often read a lot of like adult novels, but this one sounds really, really good. Um, the next book I'm going to chat about is a, one of my birthday gifts, and it's Ordinary Magic by Catalina Rubin Bra Braidway. This book is In a World Where Having Magical Abilities is Considered Normal, Abigail Hale's Life is About to Get a Lot More Interesting. It's because Abby has been judged an orb, someone without any magic. Fortunately, Abby enrolls in a school that prepares young orbs for getting along in the world despite their magical disabilities. But with treasure hunting kidnappers to avoid, hungry goblins lurking in the shadows, how to be ordinary, ordinary is one thing. Surviving the school year is another. I believe this is actually a standalone, but it sounds really, really cute. And I have been on a magic book kick recently, and this just sounded adorable. Another book that I have talked about a lot is The Hazelwood by Melissa Alpert. This is, from what I understand, it's about this girl and her mother, and they wind up, um, their, their grandmother was the popular writer of, like, fairy tales, um, but when their grandmother dies, her mother is stolen away, and Alice has to go to this mystical world and try to get her mother back. It sounds really, really good. It comes out in January, and I really hope to read it soon. It's another like fae book or fairy tale book, and I really hope to read it. Another one that I really definitely hope to read soon is Hunting Prince Hunting Prince Dracula, which is the sequel to Stalking Jack the Ripper. I really loved Stalking Jack the Ripper, and this is a monster of a book. It is at least twice the size of Hunting Prince Dracula. So I hope to read this soon as well. Um, and this takes place in Romania. And it is where Audrey and her sharp-witted companion, Thomas Cresswell, must unravel the cryptic clues that will lead them to the shadow-like killer, living or dead. That sounds exciting. And the last books I'm going to talk about in this video is Kristen's White and I Darken. I know that the second book is already out, but I got this signed to me from her through um, at, one, at um, Books of Wonder. Um, and this is a retelling of the impaler um and i heard it's really really good and this book just looks adorable so not adorable the cover looks really really pretty but i know that this is definitely a harsher creepy book but i'm really excited so these are just some of the books that i hope to read again i really wish i had all the time in the world just to sit and read that that is not my life one day maybe but yeah so let me know in the comments what, what books you think i should read first and i'll talk to you guys later